What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to day two of my America trip. I just woke up, my first night in LA, feeling pretty good, had a pretty good sleep. I was exhausted by the end of it. So my plan for today, I'm gonna go downstairs, go out in the street, find a place to get some breakfast. Um, I'm gonna go across the road to LA Fitness because LA Fitness is literally like just across the road there. See if I can get a temporary pass. I'd like to get a couple of trains in um, before GeekCon. And then I'm gonna go down um, Hollywood Boulevard because there's some pretty funky shops there, like pop culture stuff, costume shops that I wanna check out. So I'll try and get some footage of those shops. And also, I'd like to go visit my buddy Jed Thomas. Now, I've mentioned him in previous videos. He was the one that um, managed to obtain the Jack Pacific Superman and Batfleck figures when they weren't available in Australia He got them. He sent them to me. He also sent me the um, 6 inch armored Batfleck and regular Batfleck from the multiverse series to review So I want to go see Jed. I want to meet the guy. I want to see his Batman collection <laughs> Look at that Star Walker fame as soon as they come out. Who is that? Beautiful morning in Hollywood Boulevard. And there's LA Fitness, so I'm gonna head across and see if I can get like a temporary pass. All right, just went in and saw the lovely lady at the reception desk. It's $15 for a casual pass, so I'll just do that tonight and tomorrow. So, sounds good to me. Over there is where they filmed Jimmy Kimmel, which is pretty damn cool. And over here is the famous Chinese theater. Look at all these handprints and shoe prints. Oh, look, Clint Eastwood. Now I'm starving. I've got to find somewhere to eat breakfast. It's going to end up being bacon and eggs and coffee. I know. The open face ice cream sandwich. Oh, I'm going to get so fat. It's got egg, bacon, American cheese. Of course, I had to get the fruit just to be healthy, you know, to balance it out. That was so fucking nice. That was a good breakfast. I feel fresh, fueled up. All right, we are off to see my mate Jed Thomas. So I think it's about a 22 minute drive. Now this is the parking garage that um, that came with the Airbnb apartment. So it's actually just across the road from the apartment itself. So it's weird, you wake up, you know, second day of driving. This is my second time driving in the United States and you still gotta get used to the fact that everything's on the opposite side. So look, I've been doing some thinking. After I visit Jed, I think I might go to Ironhead Studios. It's purely winging it. I don't know how it's gonna go. If I could just shake Jose's hand, because he's one of the reasons why I wanted to get into prop building after seeing the Batsuits when I first saw Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. And now just to see him use all his talents and engineer this beautiful bat suit for Ben Affleck and just change the game of bat suits in general. It would just be cool to meet him. I've heard he's a nice guy, he's very approachable. I'm just gonna walk in to say, look, can I just say hi, maybe take a picture. So we'll see how that goes. So that's gonna be after I pay Jed a visit and we're gonna check out his collection. Holy shit, geeks, look at this fucking room. Look at this Ooh. fucking guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Court. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. this is Jed Thomas. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. How are you? All the way from Sydney, Australia, man. This guy's crazy. This guy's Woo. crazy. Dude. All the way from Sydney. Dude, tell us about this collection. How, <laughs> how, the, how the fuck, when, when did you start? I started this collection when I was 12. So I was never really into video games, you know? So I, ne I never really understand video games. I never really play them. I don't grow up with them. So it's always been comic book, action figures, and toys. So yeah. I, it kind of like, it grew from there. And I'm a big Batman fan. Clearly. Fucking Fuck you, Batman! Yeah! Batman is my, it's like my escape, you know? Like, I kind of like channel that shit through Batman. So, 
Uh, because I love toys, I, I'm an artist as well, so I, I really appreciate this sort of stuff. So I see them as like art, like an artwork, you know, like an art pieces. So I start collecting because I appreciate them. It's addictive. It's fucking addictive. It's addictive. Really? You know, as I grew older and I make more money and I was like, you know what? Cool. I kind of want to buy like a statue that people have in their home, but it's like pop culture. It's like Batman. This is the hottest question. Yeah. What's your favorite piece? Fuck. Exactly. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pieces. What's the story with that? This is, uh, well, 1989 Batman with Michael Keaton. I think this is, uh, well, th this is like a, like a studio scale Batwing. Yeah. So I got this, um, and then I got a studio scale Batmobile outside, uh, in my it's, living room. That's a cinema, cinema, cinema cat? cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. out there now. Now I'm trying to find what's my favorite piece, and yeah. I honestly don't know, man. Like, some of this stuff I've only seen online, so that's why I was going around before touching everything. Yeah! So, like, this is something where you could bring people in, charge admission, and, like, your, that famous photo has gone viral. Viral! On Instagram, it's become yes. a meme. It became a meme! I know that right now, I'm looking forward to the Prime One Studio house scale Ben Affleck Batman. Got that on pre-order. High five for that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good shit. Now you're also an artist by trade. Yes. Now how long, now you've been drawing since you're a kid and now you do all the conventions, mm -hmm. selling your prints and stuff. So I will provide links in the video description for Jed's yeah. amazing work. Thank you so much for all having right, me. Alright, so after me and Jed did that video, something really fucking amazing happened. I told him I wanted to go to Ironhead Studios. Jed said he was keen to go to. I said to him, I have no idea how this is going to pan out. I haven't booked an appointment. I'm just going to rock up. I just wanted to say hi to Jose. You know, shake the man's hand and say, you know, thank you for inspiring me to, you know, use my creative mind and, you know, it seemed to work for the better. So we both get in the car. We rock up to Ironhead Studios. Now, firstly, Ironhead Studios, there's no logo, no nothing at the front. It's just a warehouse in this shitty little part of LA and we get to the front door and it's you know like a double bolted door so we kind of open it and we look in and there's the workshop and we're like oh shit there's people in there like, so we go to walk away and there's a lady sitting in a Mercedes well she's about to get out she's got all this stuff with her like office supplies Jack goes do you work for Ironhead and she goes yeah and she's like is there a, can I help and she's like oh we just want to say hello to Jose, and if that's possible, she goes, yeah, sure, just wait out here and I'll get him. I'm like, oh. So next minute, Jose comes out, and we introduce ourselves. I tell him a bit about me from Sydney, Australia, and then he goes, I'll tell you what, do you guys want to come in and see what, what we do in here? Holy shit, we got to go inside Ironhead Studios. Now, you guys are probably wondering where the photos are. We didn't take photos. Jose asked if we didn't take photos because he did have upcoming projects that they were working on. We got to see what he has got on the table for upcoming movies. We're not allowed to say. Um, but just, it was, like, I'm gobsmacked. You can see just how I'm all over the place. It was amazing to be in there, guys. There was so much stuff that I just wanted to fondle and look at. And then he had a big display case with all the helmets that he's made, whether it be Loki, Cap, Armored Batfleck. And then he had the Batfleck suit on display. Um, we were talking about the Kilmer suit, the Clooney suit how he worked on them. He was so nice. I even showed him a photo of my pirate Batman uh, cow. He was impressed by that. Jose was impressed by my pirate Batman cow. That's amazing. <laughs> so to say the least, that was an awesome top off for this day, guys. Like, it's been absolutely friggin' amazing. I got to meet someone that I've spoken to online for a very long time. We got to see his amazing collection. We got to hang out and then to meet Jose of Ironhead Studios, someone that is responsible for inspiring you to wanting to get into prop making and costume making and to go in there and see all these costumes up close and sculptures and just beautiful works of art. It's, so far this trip has just been nothing short of amazing guys. I've done so much that I never thought I'd be able to do in my lifetime. Alright, so I've decided to go to the gym because that's a much more healthier approach than sitting here having beers. Just, you know, Training's good, I like training, it's good for up here as well, plus, you know, there's no guilt as opposed to polishing off a hose. Oh, shit. As a, how am I gonna? Shit, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> oh, spilled it everywhere. Mixing up some BCAAs, some branch chain amino acids. Q 
keep me going through training. I think I might do shoulders and arms this evening. I don't know if I'm going to record myself in the gym because I kind of don't like doing that. I don't like, you know, putting the camera down and recording. I don't like putting the phone down and recording myself. You know, I'm there to train. All right, so I did end up having a train at uh, LA Fitness. And one thing I noticed is they're all machines. Like, literally, no dumbbells. Well, there are, but they're light dumbbells. And, yeah, look, it's a nice gym. Did the job, but... I can't do all machines. I'm one of those people that has to, you know, have free weights. I believe that free weights is the best possible thing, you know, putting on muscle size. So this is the protein I've got, muscle milk. We've got this back home in Australia. It's actually really nice. The ultimate protein cocktail. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Today was an absolutely and utterly awesome day. I've met some amazing people, seen some friggin' amazing things. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow. I think I'm just going to... Just cruise around, maybe find some local comic book shops. I do know of a good comic book shop, uh, Atomic Comics, I think, a couple of blocks down. So I might go check that out, see some old vintage stuff. Hope you guys are well, hope you guys are happy. Be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please, always remember. Cosplayers do it best.